absolutely nobody should be panicking two games into the season. But because the Oilers goalies look pretty rough, it kind of played on anxieties that were already simmering just beneath the surface. We're barely a week into the NHL season and there is already a lot to talk about. So with that in mind, we want to highlight five notable team performances. Okay, we're going to get to the 2023 Stanley Cup winners soon enough. But for now, let's start with the 2022 winners, the Colorado Avalanche. Man, have the Avs ever looked great coming out of the gate. Not only is Colorado a perfect 3-0, all three wins have come on the road. Miko Rantanen and Kale McCarr have led the way offensively, but the most impressive numbers on this team might belong to goalie Alexander Georgiev. The second year Colorado puck stopper has been in goal for all three wins, sports a 9.58 save percentage and a microscopic 1.30 goals against average. Look out NHL world, the Avalanche are back. The second team we're going to talk about is the only club with more victories than Colorado. That is the banner raising Vegas Golden Knights. Stanley Cup hangover? No way. Not here. Vegas is a perfect 4-0 so far and a lot of that has to do with Jack Eichel. After years of unhappiness in Buffalo, dealing with an injury, adjusting to Vegas, he looks poised for a monster season. Eichel turns 27 at the end of the month and I think he's poised to break into a whole new tier of number one center. Number three on our list of notable teams, the Chicago Blackhawks. Now we were always gonna pay a lot of attention to Chicago this year because of Connor Bedard's rookie campaign. And truly, the 18 year old looks like he's going to live up to that superstar billing with three points, including his first NHL goal in four games. But the Hawks as a group have also looked pretty plucky so far, going two and two on the road with a couple big wins in Pittsburgh and Toronto. And Bedard isn't even the only freshman who's impressed on the team, with defenseman Kevin Korczynski already looking like a real keeper. We knew the Hawks would be fun to watch this year, but maybe they'll do a little more winning than we initially imagined. The fourth thing we need to talk about is the Edmonton Oilers. Listen, absolutely nobody should be panicking two games into the season, but because the Oilers goalies look pretty rough and two L's to kick off the year, it kind of played on anxieties that were already simmering just beneath the surface. Well, the Oilers got a much needed W in Game 3 in Nashville with Leon Dreisaitl posting 4 points and Jack Campbell making 42 saves. There's no such thing as a must win this early in the season, especially for a team as good as Edmonton, but everyone in Northern Alberta has to be feeling just a little better after that result. Okay, the fifth thing we want to bring up is the Seattle Kraken. At 0-3-1, the Kraken are still in search of their first victory of the year. They're also sporting a pretty gruesome minus 10 goal differential thanks to the fact they've been held to one goal or fewer in each of their four outings. Seattle was a wonderful story last year, making it all the way to the second round of the playoffs. It's early, but the Kraken need to pick it up and score some goals before they fall any further down in the standings. Now let's get a look at the full ranking. The Leafs have fallen out of our top three, but back-to-back -back hat tricks out of the gate for Austin Matthews certainly bodes well. That 60-goal AM34 might be back. The Canucks are way up in our power ranking this week. Don't forget, Vancouver didn't get its first win until Game 8 last fall. So just starting off with a couple wins over Edmonton makes the opening week a success. Los Angeles is down in our power ranking this week, but the Kings sure picked a great time for their first win of the year. It was in Winnipeg where former Jet Pierre-Luc Dubois scored his first goal with the team in the victory. We suspected it might be a long year for San Jose, and sure enough, the Sharks are still in the basement. The club is winless through three games, and all of them have been right at home in Northern California. All right, I'm Ryan Dixon. That's all the time we have for now, but come back next week and all season long for our Sportsnet Power Rankings.